Ukraine wants the world to see how it's treating newly captured Russian combatants. And also to show simply who these prisoners are. As they rolled into Russia's Kursk region, Ukrainian troops found it defended in large part by very young men, doing their compulsory one year's military service. They surrounded us and told us to lay down our weapons, and so we did. In Russia, either you join the army or you go to jail. It's not much of a choice. Of course, in the army, they did try to brainwash us. Russian propaganda told us that Ukraine is a neo-Nazi country and simply that the people here are not people. Prison wardens and soldiers say the young men were terrified when they arrived, but relaxed after being provided with food, books and TV. Humane treatment, though not sympathy. We are applying the Geneva Conventions. We aren't building personal relationships with them. They're our enemies. They all bear responsibility because they did not rise up and protest against their government. The prisoners of war who fall into our hands are above all assets to be exchanged for our own Ukrainian soldiers, who are currently in Russian custody. Since 2022, more than 3,400 Ukrainian prisoners have been released in swaps. But around 14,000 remain in Russian detention. Ever since my husband disappeared last November, every time there's an exchange, I pour over the lists and the pictures of the soldiers who got swapped looking for him. They only tell us about the exchanges after they've happened, so no one knows when the next one will be or who will be included. We just wait. In capturing so many Russian soldiers in such a short time, Ukraine's Kursk incursion has raised hopes across the country that the next big prisoner swap will come soon.